Sealing and Dynamic Collaboration, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development hosted a signing ceremony marking a significant partnership with the World University Service of Canada, WUSC, to drive forward a sub-project dedicated to sustainable agriculture. At the heart of this collaborative effort is the focus on improving agricultural practices, specifically targeting pest and disease control, while also emphasizing the involvement of women and youth in enhancing the growth of vegetables and root crops. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Barrymore Felicier, says the ministry will be providing technical expertise, coordination and capacity building for stakeholders, particularly producers. He expressed his enthusiasm for the partnership, stating this collaboration holds immense importance for all stakeholders and builds upon the strong foundation established within the framework of the sustainable agriculture in the Caribbean project. So this collaboration is important as, as the gains are uh, uh, real gains for farmers and persons who are building the capacity or have the capacity built in managing pests and disease. And we know that the diseases and the pests particularly affect your productivity, your yield, and the quality and standard of crop that you produce and bring to market. So all of that is an aim to improve the standard of produce, the capacity of the farmers, the yield of the farmers, the income of the farmers, and build on a livelihood. So this partnership is important to us, it's important to our stakeholders, and we're building on the relationship that we have under the general framework of the SAC project, and we hope and pray that we continue to receive the support from us to have other initiatives such as this. Country coordinator of the OECS of the WUSC's Sustainable Agriculture in the Caribbean project, Nadia Paquet Anselm, says this initiative is a crucial component of Canada's Caribbean Regional Development Program, exemplifying Canada's commitment to fostering socio-economic development, climate resilience, and food security in St. Lucia and across the wider Caribbean region. She also highlighted the critical role of the collaborative partnerships in driving progress beyond conventional practices, leading to the adoption of innovative research, climate resilient techniques, and technology in the agricultural sector. By capitalizing on inert expertise, which is within the Ministry for the Extension Support Services, we're trusting that we can empower these groups within the agricultural market systems um, to focus on sustainable climate resilient agriculture. We aim, of course, to enhance equitable access to food services and knowledge through this partnership and the participation in this initiative. We entrust that through this initiative that we will improve farmers' um, ability to manage pests and diseases, lending to higher yields, um, improve crop quality. And we also trust that through this initiative, there will be a shift to focus on more environmentally sustainable and friendly pest and disease control methods. Thus, of course, contributing to the sustainability and the resilience of St. Lucia's agricultural sector. This collaboration between the Agriculture Ministry and WUSC Caribbean signals a united effort towards achieving sustainable agriculture, elevating food security, and advancing economic well-being across the Caribbean. As this partnership takes root, it is anticipated to yield far-reaching benefits, ultimately contributing to a more resilient and prosperous agricultural landscape. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.